you've ever tried to undermount a sink in SketchUp, then you know that it is not easy. First, you have to cut the hole in the countertop for the sink, and then get the sink in there. Hopefully your hole matches the sink shape, and forget trying to move it or resize it. This is a frustrating task for the beginners and the pros. I have created a method that will take the frustration out of doing this. By using a special dynamic component that I made, and some basic SketchUp techniques, you will be able to undermount and resize the sink in minutes. As you can see here, we have a sink base and a countertop. If you've drawn everything using groups, your cabinet and your countertop will each be in its own separate group. What we are about to do is pull a dynamic undermount sink component from the 3D warehouse. This component will automatically undermount itself and cut the hole in the countertop for you, but we need to prepare the countertop. First, it is important to know that any component in SketchUp that is created to cut a hole in a face like our sink, will only cut through one face. As you can see from this cutaway of this countertop and cabinet, our counter is made up of two faces. To make this dynamic sink component work properly, we are going to need to remove the bottom face of this countertop. Don't worry, no one's going to notice that it's gone. Double click on the countertop group. Now that we're in the group, you can see that we can select each face individually. Since the cabinet is in the way of us seeing the underside of the counter, we're going to hide it for a minute. Click on the View menu, and then the Component Edit, and select Hide Rest of Model. As you can see, doing this hid everything else except our countertop. Look up under the countertop, select the bottom face, right click, and select Erase. Now, press Escape to leave the group and see the rest of your model. SketchUp components cannot cut through holes in grouped geometry, so right click in your countertop and select Explode. Don't worry, we're going to group it again later. Now, click on the Google bar and select Get Models. In the search box, type in Dynamic Kitchen. Press Search. Next, select Collections and press Search again. Select the User Contributed Kitchen Dynamic Components group. Download the double bowl undermount sink, place it on your countertop, and there you go. All of the hard work is done for you. You can move the sink around. You can also scale it. You should group everything when you're done. To do this, triple click on the countertop to highlight all parts of it. Then press and hold control. You will see that this makes a little plus sign next to your arrow. While still holding control, select the sink as well. Right click anywhere on the highlighted parts and select make group. That's it. For a faucet, you might use my selectable faucet that is in the same group of components. You can use the Interact tool to change the faucet to whatever faucet you'd like. I would recommend that you save my group of user contributed dynamic components into your collections. There's a lot of time saving components in there and I will be adding to them frequently. If you want to learn how to save this collection into your own personal collection, please see my videos on using the 3D Warehouse. If you hate wasting time like I do, you'll find these models very useful.